Lately, I have been receiving a lot of requests from my subscribers about not being able to access their Gmail account and I have already made a lot of Gmail recovery videos. But this video is going to be a full-fledged video where I will be going to explain all the possible Gmail recovery methods. So if you are not able to access your account or if you have got your Gmail account hacked, this video is going to be a lot useful for you. I will also discuss what can be done if you don't have access to your recovery phone number or email address or if the hacker has removed your phone number or email address. So there is going to be a lot of useful and genuine information. And by the end of the video, you will be able to analyze that if you are going to get back your Gmail account or not. So without any further delay, let's get started with the video. Alright, so let's start with the recovery process. Now what you need to do is in case if your account has been hacked or even if you are not able to recover the password for your account or if you have simply forgotten it what you need to do is here i'm going to use a browser on my laptop you can even do it on your mobile device so simply search for hacked gmail all right if that is the case the procedures to recover the password for hacked or non-hacked gmail are almost the same all right so you can also follow this procedure even if your account is not hacked so simply type hacked gmail on google and here you will see one official page from google all right so simply click on that and this will take you to this page that has some information about how you can secure a hacked or compromised google account all right so it gives you a lot of information but i will only talk about the important ones so if here it is written that if you can't sign in go to the account recovery page so even if your account is not hacked but you simply can't sign in you can go to the account recovery page and answer the questions as best you can so this is what the official gmail page has to say all right and here are the tips that can help use the account recovery page if someone changed your account info like your password or recovery phone number someone deleted your account you can't sign in for another reason so you can use this page for all these purposes all right so what you need to do is simply click on it and this will take you to the account recovery page of google or gmail you can say now here to start the process you simply have to enter your email that has got hacked or which or for which you do not remember the password all right so make sure you remember the right username and in case if you do not remember the username that you want to recover First of all, go and watch my video where I have showed you how you can recover Gmail username. So once you know the username, only then you can start the recovery process. All right. So at least you know, need to know the Gmail username. So here I'm going to enter mine. Now the next step they need you to do is to enter your password and that is something you do not know or maybe the hacker has changed it so simply click on try another way so you do not know your password all right now here if you are already logged in on any of your mobile device all right but you do not remember the password and here you are watching this to just reset your password so you will get a prompt on your mobile device and that will ask you to press yes all right and if i press yes you can see it will let me create a new password for my gmail account so that is one method that you can use if you are logged in on your mobile device but you do not know the password you can simply open a browser follow these steps and you will be able to easily reset the password all right so that's one thing you can do now let's talk about the second method now for the second method i'm back again on the account recovery page all right i have my email address or username already entered as you can see now we will click on next and now i'm going to talk about the second option that you have so simply click on try another way when you are asked to enter the password now this time i'm going to skip this option where i am asked to press yes on my mobile device because if you do not have or if you are not logged into your mobile device you will not get this option all right so this option will work only for those who are currently logged into their android or ios device and they can simply tap yes on the notification 
So here at the bottom, you will get the option try another way. Simply click on that. Now the next option is what you get to use your recovery email address. So all of us have added at least one recovery email to our Gmail account. And that is something that can help you to get back to your email account. So even if someone has hacked it and changed the password, you can still use your recovery email address to get back to your account. So here you just need to remember which email address you have added for recovery. All right. So here it will not show you the complete email address. It will only show you some initial letters and you have to guess which email you have added for recovery. All right. And then you have to log into that Gmail address or whichever address you have added and you have to enter the code that you have received. All right. Once you do that, you will be allowed to reset the password. So that is the second option that you get your recovery email address. Now, for those who haven't added any recovery email address or they have lost access to the recovery email address, they will not be able to use this particular option. All right. So let's move on and see what is the next option that you get to recover your Gmail password. So simply click on try another way. And as you can see, I'm getting another email to reset my password because I have added two of my email address for recovery. So one was from Gmail, as you can see, and this one is from Yahoo, if you can see. All right. So I have added two recovery email address. So in case, even if I lost access to the previous one, I can use this recovery email address for resetting my Gmail's password. All right. So that makes the process easy. So. It is very important that you keep your Gmail accounts updated with recovery email addresses and phone number. All right. So that's the next thing. Now for you, this option not, might not be there. So let's move on. Click on try another way. And here you will get the option to use your phone number. All right. So here what you need to do is you simply have to select the text or call option and Google will send you a verification code. So this will also show the last two digits of your mobile number. So you can just verify if you are currently using that phone number or not. You can simply access it, get the code, enter it and reset your password. So that's how easy the process is. But in case if you have lost access to your phone number or if you haven't added any phone number to your Gmail account, this option is of no use for you. All right, so let's move on and see if there is any other option that could help you. All right, so simply click on I don't have my phone. If you have, you can select text or call. If you do not have, simply click on the last option. And now one more option that uh, most of the Gmail users will get only if they have used this option while creating your, their Gmail account. So I created my Gmail account long time back and I also added a security question to it along with the answer. So even if I don't have the recovery information with me, the email address and the phone number, I can still answer my security question and Google will let me create a new password. All right. So here is the question that you can see. I simply have to enter the answer. Now this option is no longer available. All right. You cannot, you can no longer create security questions or you can no longer add security questions. But in case if you have already added it, when you created your Gmail, you can use it to recover your account. All right. So that's what I have done. Now I will need to enter the answer. And when I will click next, if the answer is correct, Gmail will let me create a new password for my account. Now, in case you are not getting this option, the reason is you haven't added any security question. So let's see if any other option uh, is there that can help you to recover your Gmail account. So click on try another way. Now, there is one more method that you can use. All right. So as you can see, it's written that use your phone to confirm it's really you. Google will check for a Bluetooth signal to make sure you and your phone are nearby all right so for this you will not need your recovery email address you will not need your recovery phone number only your mobile device that you have ever used to log into your gmail or you might be currently logged into your gmail so you need to have that phone device with you and as it is written that 
this helps show that the request to sign in is not coming from someone in a different location so they need to verify that if you are the real owner of the account or if someone else is trying to get access into your account so that is what this method is for all right if you have that option with you if you have your phone device with you you can easily use it simply press continue and just check your phone follow the steps all right i will show you the steps so here on my mobile device i have got this notification turn on bluetooth and keep it on all right so i will do the same and if you do not have your phone you are getting this option to choose another option all right external security key or built in sensor so you can even use this if you cannot use the bluetooth option all right so yeah i am going to turn on the bluetooth and here again on my mobile device i have received this notification that says someone is trying to sign into your account from a nearby device so that is if that is you obviously you have to press yes so that's another option that you can use i'm going to press yes press allow and just wait for a while till this gets completed so as you can see the process has got completed I, google has verified me as the real owner of this account so yeah now i'm allowed to create a strong password all right so that's another option that you can use now if i go back to the previous page where i was getting the bluetooth option and in case you are not logged into your mobile device or you do not have access to a mobile device you will not get any help from this method all right so let's click on try another way and see what are the other options do you have so yeah something went wrong sorry something went wrong there try again so these were all the options that are given to you by gmail in order to reset or recover your account all right apart from these options there is no other way using which you can get back to your gmail account so the conclusion is you need to have at least your recovery email address with you your recovery phone number or you need to have access to your mobile device in which you are currently logged in but you do not know the password so any of these options can help you get back to your hacked gmail or the gmail for which you have lost the password all right so i hope i was clear will clear with all the recovery gmail options that you have and apart from that i have one more important information to share with you all you should never pay anyone to recover your gmail account as all these are scammers and you can be fooled for money you should always go for official sources to get all the information and only try official and legal ways to get back to your gmail account moreover if you see a lot of spam comments even in my comment section boasting about any random hacker who can recover your hack gmail please do not believe them as you are only putting your money at risk that was all for this video i hope you found it helpful and if you do don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to stay notified of all my latest videos if you have any doubts issues queries or feedback related to any of my videos do let me know in the comment section down below and for now i will take the leave we'll see you the next time